And the second thing was, I told you, I'm not afraid of cancer anymore. Because I knew you and because it made so much sense. Development of immunotherapy you know, we started seeing a lot more cures and these advanced cancers that you never, you just didn't see before. And, and things have really advanced a lot. My mother and all of her sisters and my grandmother all had the same kind of cancer. And they all went the traditional route. And I knew it didn't work. And when we were sitting across that big giant table, the first time that I was told I had cancer, that was really the big one for me because I knew what had been done with my mother and all of her sisters wasn't an answer. So, well, I have a question. What's better for me to see you first or for me to see you last? <laughs> Definitely better first because, yeah. you know, unfortunately a lot of the patients that we see are patients who've been heavily pre-treated. Well, so lots of chemotherapy and, and not to say that, I mean, sometimes that's the right thing to do. But yes. from my standpoint, you know, I like the opportunity to see the patient say, you know, I'm, I'm right for you. Take into their own hands and do their, their research. Don't just trust your oncologist. You know, oncologist say, hey, the immunotherapy is not for you. Question it. Research oh, Absolutely. It. Figure out, you know, is that really true or not? Maybe the immunotherapy they know is not, but that doesn't mean all immunotherapy isn't. So the, the cryobiopsy idea, so the, you know, normally we don't really know how much do these biopsies spread the cancer. And uh, in John Wayne Cancer Institute, when they did their studies looking at it, they found you know, these tumor cells getting into the blood. And so that's where you know, we had the idea, let's freeze the tumor first. We know that the pathologist can deal with frozen samples because that's what they do a lot of times in surgery. We freeze that tumor, and then we stick the or well, stick the needle in the tumor, freeze it, and then we come behind and we take samples of that frozen tumor, and that keeps it from spreading around, doesn't have the bleeding. Dealing with metastatic disease, we have the pulsed electrical frequency ablation, and that that's a technique. It's a little bit different where you're not trying to go and kill every bit of cancer. You're killing killing areas and it causes the immune system to come in and attack that tumor the way that this kills with an electrical pulse causing the cell membranes to open up and the immune system is able to see that better because the pieces of the cells are left intact so that there's you know they're now uh, presented to the immune system and when you combine that with immunotherapy that's extremely powerful i mean head to head even this ablation technique is more powerful than standard immunotherapy like Keytruda and Optiva, which is what most people are offered if they're doing standard treatments. I think that that's going to significantly reduce the spread. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's that's a, that's a big issue because if you've got a patient who's an early stage, a stage one or stage two, right, you, can you prevent from converting them to a stage four? You know, that's stage one, a stage two, much more curable. You start getting into a stage four. I mean, that's typically considered incurable. I would argue nowadays with immunotherapy, that's probably different. When I found the lump again, well, I didn't tell my husband for a long time because I couldn't face it. It was just, uh, I can't believe we're going to have to go through this again. So once I found you through a miracle again, um, there was no doubt that this is what way I was going to go to it but uh, but the yes. recovery I think is, is pretty easy considering uh, to that <laughs> yes day eight, day nine right now and when I first the first couple of days uh, after the procedure first of all I felt like something horrible it's been taken out of me reaction to my body was I felt so good and I uh, I was telling you, I didn't realize how sick I really was until we took this out, until we froze it. We didn't take it out. Just 
terms are important. Okay, until we until we froze it. Um, so that was the first thing. The first couple days was just this exhilarating feeling. Of, I was really fighting something, and I really didn't know what I didn't know at that time. You know, so that was the first thing. I noticed through the week. I have. I'm more tired. Um, I do have to go to bed to rest. Um, yesterday and the day before, the pain was more than what after the surgery. I'm going, yeah. okay, what's yeah. it doing here? So is it maybe breaking up with it's, this or? It's usually because it the immune response is kind of revving up until the immune cells are infiltrating into mm -hmm. the area. Because it takes a little time. You know, the, these immune responses, they're not, they're not immediate. I mean, just like if you go and you get like a, a flu shot. Well, you're not immune to the flu within a few days. It <laughs> takes a few weeks. And so the immune response, these immune cells, they grow, they infiltrate into the area, and that creates a little bit of, well, it, it can cause some tenderness, but also the, the fatigue. That's because it's your body yeah. telling you you need to rest so that your immune system, because use, your immune system use, uses a lot of energy. And so your body wants to conserve the energy for your immune system to fight it. You've got other options. The other thing is that anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, uh, Celebrex, uh, aspirin, those actually have anti-cancer responses and, and help the, the immune system. So there's always better options. And so patients, if they can, they should go that direction. And, and so, you have an amazing book, just so. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it is, and it's so well written. Each chapter made so much sense, and I just, you know, people think, well, I don't, I don't want to read a book on cancer like that. I won't understand it. And you're an excellent writer, and you do make it so well. It's so well written that it's easy to understand. Thousands and thousands of lives. Just, just it's got to happen. The mindset has to happen. At the change. There is a cure for cancer. And we haven't, you haven't uncovered all that cure, but I believe. Patients with immunotherapy, get, whether they're by, treated by me or somebody else, I want to make sure that they have their best chance to get the, the maximum response.